Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bionicle review, and this one is on uh, the Borak Va from 2002, of course. <clears throat> so, let's start out with Tonok Va, of course. And, of course, like most of the sets, or like most waves of sets from this time, that all of which are kind of just quite the same, or just the same. But of course, a different mask, different weapon, different color scheme. But in this case, different the weapons and different uh, head top guns. Like as for the the legs of it, which are just consistent of the uh, flip pieces from the original uh, Tahunga slash original Matoran from the year prior, but also still continuing the year at this time, in this year, like uh, with uh, Duperu in the box war and all. But as for this, this main body piece, which consists of like a few different uh, Technic beams and things, but that and give it kind of a hunch look to it. But although, if you notice in the Mask of Light movie, that the Taraka bodies are kind of built like this, but although I think these which could work out perfectly for that, if you like swap out the head pieces, obviously. And of course, the head, the arms of which just kind of spin really well. One of which that is, which is this one does, which is kind of so there's a bit of posability to that. And as you'll see, that well, well, with just Tonox here, oh, which that this staff piece just the same as Tarago of a comma's one. If I were to guess why, is I probably just wanted to save a little bit of, of money on pieces and things or whatever. And as for the head part, which consisting of the same eye pieces as the regular bull rocks to end, and of course this which in dark blue, obviously, and of course same exact uh, shielding kind of piece that the main Tanak once had with the flame in it, of course, and of course on two different bits, movement bits. One is that kind of swivels up and down, and the other is just on a ball joint, of course. And on the back side, which do have that same exact Krana holder piece as all the Borak have, but each of which come in different colors, of course, and also do get a, a Krana in a, in, a, in a single, in different colors, but for these of which are different than the regular Borak one, so at least they kind of made it a little bit unique and all. And of course, one of the main features is that if you push, push on one of the arm switch, it flings it off. Let's do that one more time. Well, it kind of works out a bit. And that's about it with Tana. Now, on to say, a uh, Levok Va, which, as you can see, similar build as the rest, but, and of course, but in his case, of which does have the eye pieces in red, like the regular Levox do, and also the same exact piece as, as the regular Levok also had. But oh, what's different is for the way the head build is. Where instead of having the ball joint on where the neck is, it has the upper part connected where the neck is and it connected to where the shield piece is at. So kind of weird how that is. Although, but of course you can like swap the swap it around if you wanted. But yeah. And also one thing that's unique of him is how he has two regular hands. 
and both also both of which wielding minifigure katanas, which still exist today with Ninjago and all. And that's for his back part and his chronos that well this was the one that came with my copy of it, but yours could come. Well yours might be a different of course, but and of course one of which can honestly fling forward like the rest of course. And that is about it with Leva. Now on to Paw Rock Va, which is also the same color scheme as the regular Paw Rock, of course, but and also the same as that eye pieces as that in the trans green, and also the same shield piece as that, of course. And as for the hands of which, both the same as Levox, but and also or Levox Va is, of course, and and also his staff like piece, which same as Taraka Uni was once, but instead of brown, is in tan, which is kind of interesting how that is, but also nice to see from walking, obviously. And of course, have the same exact prana throwing feature, of course. And also, unlike the, or what you'll see on some of the rest, is how the neck parts, of which some of them had a two uh, rod connector for or two long rod for the neck, but on a few which have three long rods, okay. Probably to help differentiate a bit. But also nice to see these foot pieces in dark brown and also other main colors, but yeah. And that is it with that. And now on to Nuvok Va. And now what's kind of unique about him is doesn't have like actual hands which well, unlike Galak Va, which did have one golly hook for a hand and and also so one regular hand, but he which has two different hands, which are consistent of Onua Mata's claws, of course. Since of course he's an earth elemented one. And like the regular and like and of course the same exact eye pieces as the regular Nuvak kind of did, and also same shielding piece for on the head, of course, and his chronos that can come in black, of course, and like the rest of which can like fling forward, obviously. But let's see that again. And of course does have the ball joint part on the neck part, so you can get some movement out of the neck, of course. And now that's about it. Oh, and also, as for the leg pieces of which, which are in black, which always nice, kind of nice to see there, but I think they could have been, also could have worked well in a darkish gray, or to like consist of the main color scheme, which, well, maybe it was probably there to uh, match with the color scheme and also have it included in a set somehow, but yeah. And then next to which is Korok Va. And of course, same build as the rest of which, but although, and just like Levok and some of the rest is, does have these pieces, those connect technique bits used for hands, and also his main weapons, which are actually the same exact tooth kind of pieces that the regular Boroks all have on their head pit bits. And of course, in this case, probably used to represent uh, ice picks or ice axes or whatever. And of course, had the light translucent blue used for the eyes like the regular Korok and Korok Vaz, or Korok Kal, sorry, I should say. And it also the same exact shield piece as the regular Korok once did, but yeah. And also the Kranas that on this one that come in white. Oh, it's nice to see there, but yeah. And going forward like the rest, obviously. <coughs> <coughs> and now let me get these all on camera. Oh, also a little issue with some of these of that 
but if you move them around, their heads might pop off a bit, so be aware of that. So now you're all probably wondering, what about Galak Va? Where is Galak Va in this video? Well, I kind of reviewed that one previously, well, in a separate video, which, check that card up there, which, uh, uh, which see that. And consider, this, if you want to see a Galak Va, Va in this video, check the card right here, of course, but yeah. And so, anyways, on to the final verdict. Which overall, I think these which are kind of fair good sets for how they are. Like do get nice recolors of the uh, Tunga Mictorin foot pieces in other colors, and and also good, and also Kranas in different colors, game colors bits of course. Even though these did also provide as good parts packs, like for the Technic bits of it, and also. For some of the like Borat shield pieces and also eye tooth pieces, obviously, and of course, kind of nice seeing a recur recurring pieces. Well, in the case of the uh, Taraka staffs, of course, even though it may have been a little repetitive, but at least it was kind of what they had at the time. But well, I could still forgive how it is. And although Korok Call, I think, could have had a little bit more going on, like maybe like golly hook pieces in white, which would have been a little better, but maybe that would have been a little much. Or even Taraka and Duju's uh, staff could have been on that, but whatever. At least still fair as is. As although at least larger weapons would have, could have been a little better on all of them, but at least I could still forgive how they are again, but yeah. And although I still wish that the headpieces could have been the same build, well, as for the Vox and all, I think could have been the same as the rest of them, even though the headpieces, which you can also, uh, which put in, make in different color schemes and different uh, shield pieces on them, on whatever mocks you want, but yeah. And so now, if you, any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of, of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, or, or still looking to get these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.